from the University of California at Davis. This is News Watch. Testing for mad cow disease has been ratcheted up after the first case of mad cow surfaced in the U.S. last December. A new DNA-based test developed by researchers at UC Davis will make it easier and faster to detect animal proteins in livestock feed. The test looks for protein from ruminants, cow, sheep, and goats in feed products. Livestock feed containing material from the carcasses of animals infected with mad cow can transmit the disease to healthy animals and in turn to humans. The new test that we have is designed to detect contamination of ruminant DNA in feed. And this is a way that both the feed mill and the producer and regulatory officials can just monitor and make sure this ban is solid and, and in place on a daily basis. Samples of feed from the mill are processed and DNA techniques are applied. The test is sensitive. The current test is designed so that uh, feed mill operators or producers could send the sample in, you could run it in a laboratory and then get the results back within 24 to 48 hours. Up till now, federal regulators have used microscopic analysis or an antibody test to monitor for contamination. Both types have their drawbacks. Right now, we're about 20 to 100 times better than what is out there right now. And we are also at a much lower level of detection. The new test will be used this year. Reporting from UC Davis, I'm Paul Fotenauer. For more information, please log on to broadcast.ucdavis.edu.